Previously on Exploring the Local Life, I came to you and talked to you about RV water filters. So today on Exploring the Local Life, I am Jessica and I'm gonna be sharing with you seven family-friendly RVs for 2020. So today I am presenting you with seven RVs that I toured. They're all family friendly and my main criteria for labeling them as such is whether or not they could sleep more than four people. These models range from super small to really big and I didn't look at you know how much you're going to be able to store in there or any of those things because each family regardless of size the amount of stuff that comes with them is really dependent on the family. Some people are total minimalist have hardly anything personal effects that are going to take up space and add to the weight of the RV so I didn't take that into account. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these, you're gonna to wanna to find out what their dry weight is and all those things and how much you could actually put in there realistically for your family. So the very first RV that I'm gonna take you through is a Class B Plus. It is a Renegade Villaggio 25FWS. And the main reason that I picked it is because it could sleep for, it is compact, but I think it's pretty capable for what it offers. It is a Mercedes diesel. Four. It is almost 25 feet long, sleeps for, and comes in at about $134,000. Let's see what kind of stove we've got. Two propane bur burners. Boners, I almost said. Oh my God, burners. We don't have a uh, standard oven, but we do have this here, which hmm, I don't see it as being a convection oven. Smaller fridge and standard. It's a little bit smaller. We got over the cab sleeping. There's no air vents up there, so it might get a little warm, but there's lights. Um, there's no windows, so that might help with the uh, heat situation. Got the bunk light. We have a cable outlet for a TV, and we have USB and uh, regular plug ins. Seating here, and then we just open onto the master. We have our sleeping area from here all the way to there isn't a slide and that's actually why I came in here because I was walking right past it and I saw this huge slide on this very small motorhome and I needed to see what the inside looked like and how spacious it is and as you can tell it is spacious. Um, so once we're in the bathroom bedroom we get dual Jessica here with these mirrors. We've got a sink, got a nice metal. And then we get to the other part, the toilet and the shower. It's nice and bright in here. Bathroom's nice in the corner here-ish, I guess. And the shower's back there. Let's see if I can do this without messing with it too much. Yeah. And then you gotta, I think this is really cute here. Um, this is a little funny, but it looks like they sealed it really well. And Viola, I know it's not Viola, voila, here's your shower. I think it was worth me stopping in based on that whole um, big old slide. So this whole thing runs on that all the way across. So you don't have to worry about like keeping that master bedroom private, sleeping there and then sleeping above the cab, so. The second RV on the list is a Gulfstream Envision 282 BH travel trailer. It comes in at 32 feet, it sleeps six, and it costs $28,000. Right. So I came out in the front door and found myself in the master bedroom. That's interesting. So we've got your, like, our RV has the same closet on either side, his and hers, or hers and hers, or his and his. You never know, right? Um, then there's the stuff up there for storage. Oh boy. So I guess you can mount a TV here. These small, you got uh, this window here. Um, that's the door I came in, which I thought was gonna be the entry door, but it's not. And now we find ourselves in the kitchen. Plenty of countertop space, countertop. a nice stainless steel sink in there and then it is a little awkward getting these in and out 
got your three burner top and your microwave. Dining, sure turns into a bed. Seating, standard RV fridge. Maybe a little nicer than standard RV fridge. I don't know. It's very high. Oh! Oh my gosh, they have a, that built-in bowls. That's so sweet. They have lighting under there. And their fancy Thomas Paine collection seats. What's that? Oh, hey. Oh, it's got a USB plug and heating and um, cooling. Is that right? That's, that's crazy. And it, it could be crazy in a good way. So these are, oh look, some, they got, like their own skylight up there. So kids bunks. Nice ladder. Uh, this is the other door. They've got hooks here for your jackets. Whoa. Uh, big random storage. Oh, hey, uh, storage down there, but you, but you that's where you can put your shoes and stuff. And storage there. This is very uh, friendly. Bathroom, lots of storage here, a full shower, same hollow whatever, but still it's, uh, I think that's plastic. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Next on the list is the Thor Magnitude XG32. It's a class C, super C, has a Ford diesel engine. It comes in at 33 feet and six inches long. And the price is around $220,000. That is on a slide. Lots of mirrors. <clears throat> Oof. It can sleep up to six. Full size fridge. Convection microwave. A nice stove top here. You got these two burners, and then you have this induction top, which is really, really nice. Well, then you have a spot here for your garbage. Nice. Sink covers. They look like they won't warp. An actual aluminum sinks. More storage up here. <clears throat> Room. One of these curved corner showers. Lots of storage in here as well. Nice dining area. We've got our bed here over the cab. A nice, nice lighting up there. Seating. Your AC unit. Oh, there's one here and I didn't, there's also one in the master. And then there's another <clears throat> coat closet. Coat closet here. Of course you can put shoes and you could probably put additional shelves if you're not going to use this for coats um, to put more shoes. All right, we're already to number four. This is a Forest River. Something I have to say for Forest River is that they come up with these really, really long and intricate names. So, so I don't screw it up. I'm literally going to read it off the piece of paper because it's like this long. So bear with me here. All right, are you ready? This is the Forest River Cherokee Wolfpack Platinum Travel Trailer 27 Pack 10 Toy Hauler. So is it in that exact descriptor no i think the biggest thing you have to keep in mind is the forest river cherokee 27 pack 10 toy hauler i don't know it's a long it's got a lot of information so how's that it comes in at 33 feet seven inches it can sleep up to eight people that's the most so far in this uh, list i've given you and it comes in at around forty six thousand dollars this is a solar charger huh Solar, nice. I don't know where it is, so. <laughs> All right, so I found an RV that's almost exactly like ours. It's a, another, um, it's like a gray pack. 
gray wolf it's not a gray wolf it's like a cherokee wolf packer pupper <clears throat> this was a little bit different it's a toy hauler and it's configured differently but i wanted to go ahead and give you a tour of something that's a little bit more like what we have so i'm in the master bedroom got the standard closet there got some overhead storage there for the bedroom um unlike ours this one just has a full door and then it's got like all of this walled off here um not really sure how i feel about that <laughs> and then we step out of the master and we go immediately to the living space so got our kitchen cabinetry up on top three propane burners little oven it's so cute <laughs> storage here Oops. Um, that is a stainless steel no it? oh, it's not <laughs> it's not a stainless steel um, sink this part is but then the sink itself is plastic so you gotta be careful you don't melt it like I did like my first week having it uh, here is the dining area and the jackknife couch got lots of windows here so good lighting Kind of a black finish there but smooth like a stainless steelish freezer which i would still almost have issues reaching it got a nice little fireplace here this is like your entertainment unit and storage there we've got bathroom here with a built-in hook so you don't have to wonder where you're going to put your towels you hang them right there they did not put somewhere for you to put your toilet paper though um cute little corner sink and corner medicine cabinet and then so this is not a storage compartment and we have a pantry in here with a light so plenty of space in here you can put your brooms in here and have more places to hang your coats and things really nice and then this is the toy hauler part you got your bunks that move up and down or maybe for locking into place whatever you're hauling and then it opens out onto a little porch so that's kind of nice and depending on where you are you might be able to just have that open even with the bunks down for our kids though we'd have to like get rid of 90 percent of their stuffed animals because they would all fall off every time we move the bunk up and down and then for privacy sake since it's kind of just a big open area for the bunks there's this uh, curtain it runs all the way across it's full length so it's either clo open or closed so if you have two kids and they have different privacy needs you might need to adjust and get another curtain for the different beds um way up there i don't know if you can see it i see one outlet for ac um but i don't see like any like you know right here so i don't know how this would fare um when it's really hot all right we're to our fifth rv this is the Fleetwood Southwind 37F, and that is a gas class A. It sleeps 10, so we're going up here on the number of people who can sleep, right? It is 38 feet long, and it's gonna cost you about $216,000. Looks like there's a bed up there. <laughs> I'm guessing that because of this whole play looking system there. Nice stainless steel. We've got two induction stove tops there. Convection oven up there. Have our dining area here. How about I unlock it first? This holds fridge. Freezer. We've got seating here. Looks like this turns into a bed. Right back behind the TV in the main living space is a bathroom. Got your sink. Shower. With a nice light in there. Here's the master. So that's behind the bathroom and all that living space. And then you've got your bathroom more storage the cutest tiniest little sink ever toilet shower 
I don't want to break the doors, but I really want to know what's in here. All right, so I was right. There was something cool back here. Bunk number one and bunk number two. And I'm assuming you can take that out so that the kid that gets this other bunk isn't mad about it. So there's electric outlets, USB ports up there. There's lights there. They obviously get a window, some more lights, but what I don't see is an air vent. Um, there are those windows, but it's gonna get hot in there, but. And here's the other one. So another window, get your lights again, lights again switch and there's those ports so electric outlets and USB outlets and this is <laughs> so cool I kind of think it's dreamy I kind of if I was a kid I'd want this cool little stowaway type of dealio magnets are super strong so that's why I couldn't open them it was magnetic and super strong I was afraid to break it so cool class A obviously family friendly I like plus like the sleeping up there. So uh, thumbs up. All right, we're getting closer to the end. We're coming up on number six. And this one's a Winnebago. This is the Winnebago Forza 38W. It is a class A. This one's a diesel pusher though. Comes in right under 40 feet. It's 39 feet and 10 inches. It can sleep up to eight people and it costs $293,000. You can probably see that leap almost from the gas engine to your diesel pusher. So there's a big uh, pricing difference there. Got your eating area here. Obviously sitting, We've got a full fridge here. I can reach everything. We've got our convection oven, propane, stove top. Non-plastic so you won't melt it. So the real reason I came in here was for this bunk situation. So let's see. They've got windows, we got lights in there. Down here also. What I don't see are outlets and I don't see air vents, so it might get a little stuffy in there for the kids. Now we're here in the master bedroom. I got a pocket door which I can never operate. Here we are in the bathroom and look there's a special wonderful glorious surprise. Oh and there's an AC unit in here. Toilet here. Ceramic. And here it is guys. Medicine cabinet. Oh look. I've never seen that in a bathroom. It's like they thought maybe you might need some counter space. So shower. It is um, hollow. Um, that's the TV right there. And then across from that, there's a door and we have a second full bath for the kids, All right? Toilet with one of those guys, foot pedal and, and the shower. Look, the shower has where you can sit. Built-in storage areas. Oh, and this has um, glass. So you just pull it across. Um, and this is secured. I am not gonna disconnect that. Very capable unit for a family of uh, four, maybe five, six. You might be able to fit somebody there too. So very capable vehicle. All right, you made it to the very last one, number seven. So I wanted to make sure I got this one right. So I'm grabbing my trusty notebook so I can read it exactly right for you. It's the New Horizon Summit S41. I-K-T-3-S, and it's a toy hauler. Now this one made the list because again, it can of course sleep more than four people, but probably the biggest thing with the New Horizons that I have found that I haven't found with anybody else is that they actually market to full-time RVers. So their biggest claim, and you know, by touring, I toured three of their models, although I'm only presenting one today, their stuff is really uh, well made. Uh, it looks more homish than RV-ish, and um, you know that's that's their thing. They're saying that they're, they're customizable. They have quality products. It's made to last. So I'm just throwing that one out there. I haven't heard any other manufacturers say that. If they have, and you know about it, leave it in the comments so that I can know myself, and so can everybody else watching this video. 
All right, this toy hauler is the biggest model in sense of length, not the number of people it could sleep. It comes in right at 41 feet. It can sleep six people and it's coming in right around $200,000. Now that's the most expensive uh, trailer that I have presented so far. But again, like I said, since they're marketing to full timers or claiming a lot on the durability and the quality of their build. So that's why the price is a lot uh, steeper than the others. Neo cabinet tops. Oh my. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm gonna make it pretty up there in a minute. Oh, uh, a well, bit spread on. <laughs> well, we're catching it before the before, yeah, the before shot. Nice closet here. She get the power to us. Washer and dryer hookup. Yeah. Dresser. Oh, one last toilet. Lots of storage in a window. All right, you made it through all seven of these family-friendly models that I'm presenting to you for 2020. Make sure if you have any questions or comments, leave, it, leave them below. And of course, check out the manufacturer, search online for them yourself so that way you can tour them yourself and get a real feel for whether that's gonna fit your family and your RV lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check us out on Patreon and support us there. Bye.